Hello everybody, this is EY Stream, and today I'm going to show you how you can morph into any mob you like, like literally any mob, sheep, creeper, cow, whatever, in Minecraft Pocket Edition without any mods or add-ons. I know, that's crazy. But before we get into today's video, you guys know how it is. Let's go ahead and try and reach that great like goal of three. 100 likes. I know you guys can do it, so make sure to smash that like button with your fist, with your little blocky fist, with your little bucky fist, or go ahead and kick it or punch it. I don't really mind, just as long as that button goes blue. If that button doesn't go blue or you're colorblind, well then, um, make sure you do the one that has like the little thumb that's like sticking up. Um, that's probably something you should do. Don't, don't hit, if you're colorblind, please don't hit the one with the thumb sticking down because that actually means that you don't like the video. And if you don't like the video and you click that button, well, I guess that's okay. But let's go ahead, try and reach the 300 like goal as always. I know you guys can do it, and, you know, just as you guys always know, I will be adding some lucky people to my Minecraft Pocket Edition realm if you go ahead and reach that like goal. And if you want to be added, um, make sure to leave your gamer tag in the comment section below, subscribe, and turn on notifications by hitting that little bell button next to the subscribe button. But remember, I'll only be adding people if we hit 300 likes, so make sure to go ahead and grab all your friends, get them to check out this video, and leave a like. So, without further ado, let's get into today's video. I'm going to go ahead and switch into first person mode here. Alright, so you're probably thinking, well, okay, it's clearly not a new Minecraft version that you can morph into, you know, animals. Because why, why would they add that? I mean, they'd be like, why, why would you add that? Like, if you're a Minecraft Pocket Edition developer, you wouldn't go, well, I want a new feature where I can turn into a cow. Like, you don't think like that. But I know most of us kind of want to play around with our friends, mess with them just a little bit, and morph into any mob we want to morph into, including a creeper, to do some quality trolling. Now, there's a really genius command block map that shows us exactly how we can do that using just command blocks in Minecraft Pocket Edition. No mods or add-ons needed. Now, I will have that map download link in the description below. And as you can see, I am on the map right now. So if we come over here, we have a few options here. We have info, start morphing, and it's by at uh, Hammer Plays here. Um, go check them out on Twitter, as you can see. So if we click this button, by Hammer Plays, beautiful text right across the screen there. Then we come over to info here. <laughs> go NPC to have fun. Alright, well, that, that was really useful information there. So let's go ahead and hit the start morphing button. And I can't wait to see what we get to do. Alright, bang. Welcome back. Woo! Alright, let's have... Holy moly! That is a command block machine and a half. Alright, so we spawn here. Looking really nice. So tap on it first. Alright, let's go ahead. Tap on that. Game rule command block has been updated to false. Game rule... Do, do mob spawning has been updated to false. Alright, good. Now, this is our back to human button. And I'm assuming, look at this, guys. We can turn into any mob we want just by hitting a switch. And holy moly, there is... Oh, whoops, I fell in here. There has been a lot of work. As you can see here, this is a humongous little thing here. Uh, with It appears for each one, we have a repeater. Then we have uh, a chain command block or an impulse. I don't know, is that a chain command block or a repeater command block? I don't know. Then we have another redstone repeater, another purple command block. That's what I'm going to call them now. And then just your regular command block here. I'm not sure what any of those do. Uh, we're going to have actually take a look at the commands uh, in a minute. So that you guys can get an idea of what to do. Whoops, I accidentally broke the glass there. But we've got to test it out first, guys. So let's go ahead. I'm going to switch into first uh, third person view here. Just so we can see whether it works or not. So let's go ahead, jump into... Third person back view. There we go. All right, so what have we got here? We've got Endermites, Elder Guardians, Guardians. We literally have any mob you can think of. Witch, Cave Spider, Squid, Rabbit. Um, here we go. Mushroom, Ocelot, Polar Bear, Villager, Wolf, Sheep, Chicken, <laughs> Cow, Pig. And then there's tons more. Like, you can literally... There's a, I'm pretty sure every single mob in the game is here. So let's come out here. Let's have... Ooh, a creeper. That's what I want to turn into. All right, let's go ahead. Hit that button. What? Guys, look at this. I'm a creeper. I'm actually a creeper. Look at this, guys. So as you can see, if I turn in which direction, it lags a little bit. Now, the reason for that, I'm going to explain in a minute. But as you can see, this creeper... Basically, is me. So what you can do is if you're in a realm or if you're playing with some friends, is I can't wait to try this out. Go up to your one of your friends using this uh, morph. Go up to them with this creeper and scare them to death. They'll be like, no, you're like, go into their secret storage room with all their diamonds and go ahead and get 
absolutely freak them out. That would be epic, guys. Um, I'm already thinking of all these cool plans to use. I can't wait. Now, the reason why it does lag behind a little bit, as you can kind of see here, or if I turn, it lags just a little, is because what it's actually doing is it's made us invisible. And as you can see here, there is an Invisibility 2 potion on us that is uh, infinite. Uh, as you can see, it's switching between 1640 and 1639. And then, what the command blocks have done, have spawned in a creeper here, which actually follows us constantly. So what actually is happening here is... Uh, we have a pet creeper that follows us, but it looks like we are the creeper because we're invisible So yeah, this is a really ingenious idea here. Whoever thought of the idea to um, uh, Make it look like we are the creeper just by making ourselves invisible and getting the mob to follow us is an absolute genius No joke. They are super super smart. I can't believe how smart this is and obviously if we come over here to back to human Let's go ahead. Oh by accident. So yeah, you can hit the creeper at a whip here. How are we going to do? How am I going to do this without hitting the creeper? And bang. No. Nope. All right. I got to do like a walking head start into this. All right. Um, bang. There we go. And as you can see, it appears to kill all mobs. Um, it doesn't seem to get rid of the invisibility potion there. That is a little unusual. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some milk. Oh. Let's go ahead and search. Let's come right here. And we're just going to go ahead and search for some milk. Like so, like so. Grab some of that good milky goodness. Take a little sip. Oh. Okay, no, we've still got invisibility in us. Let's try hitting that button again. So it would appear that um, the command block has left us with continuous invisibility. That is so weird. So what we're going to go ahead to do is we're going to have to go slash effect. Um, EY stream. Oh, I can't spell my name. That would be a problem. EY stream. EY stream. Clear. All right. And nope, that's not gonna work either. So I think the problem is, is um, one of these command blocks are constantly repeating the invisibility effect. Um, I'm pretty sure that can be fixed just by messing around with the commands a little bit here. But for now, that's not such a big deal because we're just gonna go ahead and morph into another mob. Of course, we could just wait for the invisibility to wear out. Uh, that is another alternate option. But you know, we're just gonna go ahead and morph into another mob here. So let's have a look. All right, so I'm gonna think, ooh, with a skeleton. Let's see what this looks like. So we'll switch. With a skeleton and have a look at this guys. We have a with a skeleton and it looks just yeah It looks like you are the wheel of skeleton I think this is absolutely epic if you ask me this is such a genius idea And what's really cool is that even if you fly it's going to actually fly with you I'm not I have no idea how that works because I would actually think it would stay on the ground But it appears that it will just continue following you and it's, that's really really weird So let's go ahead. Um, we're gonna go ahead and switch into What other things do we have here? Uh, we have a horse. Ooh. No, okay. Now I have a horse and a wither. Okay, no, I need to switch back to human first to get this to work, I think. So let's go ahead, switch straight back to human. Oh, this is actually that hard trying not to kill my poor wither skeleton here. Dang. No, I need it. Dang, oh my gosh, this is hard. All right, ready? Oh, this is actually that much of a challenge, though. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go ahead. Now we've got to choose another one we want to be. Ooh, ooh, there's just... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to break the glass. There's so many options. I wonder whether you can become a ghast. Oh, yes. Yes, guys. I am a ghast. Holy moly. Look at this. I am actually a ghast. This is lagging so much for me. Oh my gosh, this is one way to scare your friends to the moon, guys. Just walk into the house as a ghast. They'll be like, they'll be like, they will actually have a heart attack. This is such a genius idea. This is so cool. What other things are here? Let's go ahead. Um, this is gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna hit the button as I'm a ghast. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, grab a diamond sword here. Diamond sword. All right, just grab one of those. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this poor ghast because... Uh, it's kind of getting in my way. Look at that <laughs> floating diamond sword, GG. Um, Alright, what else is here? There's just so many options you can kind of choose from here. So if we come down here, let's go ahead. Oh, I see what we have to do. To get rid of the invisibility effect, we actually have to... Uh, aha! We have to flick up on these switches. So that goes ahead and stops uh, the invisibility potion um, reoccurring. Because I believe those are repeating command blocks. And what that's what's stopping us from losing invisibility. So let's go ahead and make sure... All the switches here are switched back to their original starting position. So let's have a look. Looky, looky-do here. 
and we'll hit that. And I think we've only switched into three mobs, so that should be all. And hopefully, if we hit the back to human button, there we go. All right, so we figured that out. You actually need to return those switches to the original position if you want to switch back to human. And I believe we're going to switch into first person view here because we kind of got in the idea. You can morph into any mob you like, which I think is absolutely epic. But it's it's quite interesting. I want to know how this works. And because there's only three command blocks here for each one, we're just going to have a look at one of these and kind of get an idea of what's going on uh, behind the scenes. So in this command block here, which is a repeat command block, it's giving you effect um, to the nearest player, invisibility, invisibility one for 1,000 seconds, uh, power one. And this one over here is going ahead. And as you can see, what's actually happening is it's teleporting the mob um, that you want. So in this case, because we're teleporting to Endermite, it's teleporting the mob to you every second, constantly repeating. And that, I think, is what uh, gives the illusion that the mob is actually following you, sets. And then finally... We've got the summon command. Now, this is actually genius. While the commands are very simple, just constantly keeping you invisible, constantly teleporting the mob to you, and, um... Constant uh, and summoning the mob. I think that's really simple like the commands are simple But the idea to do this is just genius like it's really creative here um, Really creative way to morph you into any mob without using mo uh, mods or add-ons. So uh, yeah I think this is really cool. I, the, the mod creator has done an amazing job Make sure to go check them out and download this map in the description below But you know honestly, I've shown you how the command blocks works You could recreate this in your very own Minecraft Pocket Edition world with pretty much no effort at all. It's a really simple uh, kind of little thing, and that way you can choose exactly what mob you want to morph into. So, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I know I definitely enjoyed this video. I found it quite cool to be morphing into things, and I'm, I'm so using this on some of my friends uh, after this episode. I cross my fingers they aren't watching today's video. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that like goal of 300 likes. So go ahead, smash that like button, and subscribe to my channel for more epic Minecraft Pocket Edition content, including maps, mods, seeds, reviews, servers, and all that good stuff. And make sure to hit that little bell icon uh, so you don't miss a single upload on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, well, I, I feel like I've already said that actually. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video. Um, so yeah, guys, until next time, EOS Stream out. Bye. Hey, go.